Hello everyone and welcome to Blockonomics. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to accept the Bitcoin payments on Node.js using Express Card. The topics that we are going to cover today is to quickly look at the demo, then the installation and the configuration that you need to do on the Express Card as well as in the, on the Blockonomics end. Then we will dive into the code details where we will explain the callback endpoints and the Blockonomics API calls in the web sockets. Lastly, we will try to customize the Express Card. So now let us look at the demo. So this is the express card demo and let us let me add this product into my card. So as you can see in my card, I have this demo and uh, let us say I want to buy it two pieces. So let me check out. Oh, so over here I have already logged in. So you can see my details over here. Let me continue to the shipping and let me proceed to the payment. We have Blockonomics payment configured and let me click on pay with Bitcoin. So now as you can see that I have been told to transfer this much amount of uh, bitcoins onto this address. So let me quickly do this transfer. So after transferring the amount of bitcoins, this is the landing page <coughs> after the completion of the payment. So this is the entire demo and now let us look at the installation and the configuration part. To do the installation, you can come into the B key and select on the installation and follow the first six steps. After you complete the installation, uh, you will be able to run the express card on your local machine. The configuration of the Blockonomics. So you can come under the payments and in the payments you can see that there is a configuration uh, specified for the Blockonomics. But before doing that, you have to apply some changes onto your code so that you allow Blockonomics as a payment gateway for the users and to do that, you have to come into the config and click on settings.json and add Blockonomics as a payment gateway. Inside the config, you have to go to the payments, to the config and then to the Blockonomics and add your API key over here. So your API key you can get from the Blockonomics website. The configuration on the express card and is complete that you have to specify the HTTP callback URL. So for doing that, let us come over here onto our Blockonomics account and let us go onto the stores. You can add a new store. You can add your XPUB for your um, the destination wallet and then you can add some uh, tag label. For example, this is the demo uh, we have added. So we have added a tag that is express cart local setup and then you can add the HTTP callback URL. So we are using a local tunnel and this is the cart URL which is also over here uh, mentioned as the cart URL and then slash blockonomics slash checkout return. So this is the uh, suffix that you have to add onto your cart URL and then click on the save changes and then your store is configured. Also you can also you have to use this API key. To start the code details we have to first of all look at the app.js file and understand the payment route. So in the payment route you can see that for each gateway they have created a separate uh, section wherein you can uh, place the routes for that particular gateway. So our will be in the lib slash payments and then in the blockonomics.js. So over here you can see that uh, they have created three different routes and uh, the two, two most important are the checkout underscore return which we just saw is the HTTP callback endpoint and the checkout underscore action which is the endpoint which is the route which is triggered whenever you click on the button pay with Bitcoin things. So they have created a Blockonomics parameters dictionary over here all the expected things for example the Bitcoin expected BTC and uh, also you can see that the ad address and all the address and also the timestamp. All these three things are stored over here in the Blockonomics parameters. The order doc contains everything about that particular order and once you get everything, uh, with it, they keep the de default status uh, of the order as pending and they create a new order in the database. In the checkout underscore return, these are the thing, things that we are going to get from there. Okay, And the status code 2 means that the transaction successfully completed. In that particular case, first of all, we will check whether the amount that is being transferred uh, is actually equivalent to the amount that we were expecting. So it should be at least equal to this order amount and uh, next if that is true then we update the status uh, from pending to paid. If the amount exceeds the 95% uh, uh, of the expected BTC then you will process the order. Okay. At Blockonomics provide a web socket uh, through which they update the status of the transaction immediately and uh, so that particular uh, web socket you can you can find it in the yeah so you go to the uh, public and in the public in the javascript you go to the expresscard.js and you can see over here in line number 549 
this is the checkout blockonomics page and over here they are using the blockonomics socket then you can configure that what how much time how much time out do i want so you can keep it 10 minutes you can keep it 5 minutes so if we get any status update with this this will mean that the user has started the payment okay and we will redirect the user to the confirmation page now let us try to make some few changes so in the themes you can go to the checkout blockonomics this particular line that we are, we are waiting for the payment waiting for the payment is over here so now let me refresh the page now you can see that the change that this text has been updated so if you want to customize this message so, so you can see that uh, in the theme you can see that payment complete blockonomics and let us say that your order has been received and now we also create a button for blockonomics saying that if you want to accept payments using blockonomics then you can click on that button if you click on that you will be redirected to our blockonomics page website and that's it for the video and if you have any doubts feel free to use the comment section and keep using blockonomics and we will see you in the next video so thank you